Hey everybody, how you doing? It's November 11th, Veterans Day here in the United States. Thanks to everybody who served, my fellow Devil Dogs and U.S. Marines. Hoorah! Semper Fi! So, like the title said, I got some insane deals, some insane finds at a thrift store here. So, the main purpose of this is going to be this. This is, this is Skywarp. My wife found it for me yesterday. So I went back today and found some other stuff. So this is going to be the main thing. But um, let me show you what else I got before I review this. Okay. Uh, there's a reason why I want to review this. So. Decided to go back to the thrift shop to see what I could find. Found this. This was a McDonald's Grimlock. Um, kind of like it. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, 2016 Hasbro is what it says over here. It's just your basic McDonald's sweet, no big deal, but I like it. I'm, I'm a big fan of Transformers. A lot of people know I love Transformers. Then I found, I believe this is Prowl. Um, also, I believe it's a McDonald's toy. Actually, that is right there. 2016 McDonald's, so I'm pretty sure it's from the same line. Um, these guys, 25 cents a piece. Not bad. Not bad, right? That's what I would expect to pay for a Transformer toy from McDonald's for that price, okay? But that's not the insane deal. I mean, that's not the insane deal at all. So we're going to start this off. Beast Hunters Bumblebee <clears throat> from Transformers Prime. Still in the box. Never open. Never open. That's one. Minicon Assault Team. Again, Transformers Generation. It's got the comic book. Never opened at all. This thing, I, I love the way this looks. I'm, I'm so tempted to open it. I might, I don't know. It was in somebody's collection because it's dusty as hell. Found that one. Tankor. Tankor! Still not opened. Not opened at all. I mean, what the hell? All right, I'm not done yet. I've got another one, Arachnid from Prime. I had never seen her on the shelf anywhere, so yeah, and it's still not open. This is crazy. But then it gets better. Found another Skywarp, Transformers Generations Skywarp. Never opened. This has got that that funky look to it. But never open at all. Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five, five of the deluxe class. Right? Guess how much these were? A dollar twenty-five a piece. Dollar twenty-five for these. I was like, you know what? I've got, I've got, I've got some pocket change. I, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them, and I got them. Obviously, I got them. So. How am I saying is this fine? I mean, seriously, it's crazy. Um, more than likely what happened, and you know I live in a military town next to Fort Hood. More than likely what happened, some soldier got his girl or her man or whatever what have you pissed. They got sent to the field for training, and the upset significant other decided, fuck it, I'm going to sell their shit. They lost my fine. Sorry, guys. That's that's just the way it is. More than likely, that's what happened. I doubt anything. Um, this bumblebee, not too fond of it. It looks it looks pretty cool. Um, so he, I might actually open him up and repaint him. I'm not sure yet. He he's interesting. He looks more. He's definitely more of an aggressive bumblebee than I've ever seen before. But you know me. I love my my G1 Transformers. So anyway, so let's get to the part of the review. Skywarp. Now, Skywarp holds a special special place in my heart because he was the very first Decepticon I ever had. Um, my mom and dad found one at Woolworths. If you're not old enough, you don't know what Woolworths is. It's a um, it was a department store, big in New York. <clears throat> um, so yeah, Skywarp will always hold a special place in my heart. If I could ever find a Skywarp, I'll try to pick it up. Because I just I just love Skywarp. So anyway, let's let's look at this. So this my wife found it for six dollars ninety eight cents. 
Okay, come to find out that it's one of the Combiner Wars Deluxe class. Like, okay, that's pretty cool. But I just gotta say, this thing feels cheap as hell. I mean, it really does. All right, so let's look at the weapons. The weapons that come on here, because I thought this was like a cheap Dollar General version. You know, really cheap because this is the weapon. It's hollow. What the hell? And it feels like really cheap plastic. That's one weapon. It's missing. It's missing. Obviously, it's missing these two wings here. It's missing the other. Let me take this one off real quick. It's missing the other large gun. Now, these. this is the gun, the, the laser that you normally see on their forearms. You know, Starscream and the rest of the Seekers. But look, it's hollow. Now this is this is cheap. What the hell? Alright. So with that being said, let's look over here. The wings. What the hell? What has happened to the quality of Transformers? Especially considering that this, from what I'm finding, ranges anywhere from $36 to $46, depending where you buy it, retail price. And it's just it, this thing feels literally it feels like a 10 or maybe $20 toy. This doesn't feel like a $46 toy at all. Not even a collection piece. Um, so what you know, what the hell? All right, I'm gonna try to transform this real quick because I, I it was in bot mode. I'm gonna I had to put it into alt mode so I could see how to do it. But we're gonna do this real quick. I don't know if there's any other review videos out there of this thing. I didn't bother checking. And I'm probably doing this all in the wrong way. And I'm not afraid to admit that. And all these parts over here flip up. But yeah, this is just, it's kind of disappointing. I mean, first of all, I'm glad, you know, she only paid $6 for it. Because if I would have saw this in the box and paid the full amount for it, $46 or $36, I would have been pissed. I really would have been pissed. Oh, this one doesn't want to flip open now. I think I did too good a job. So anyway, all right. So forgive me. Let me get all this stuff over here. And I haven't tried to do the uh, the Macross version yet. But I don't think it can transform quite that way into a Gerwalk mode. I think that's about as close as you're going to get. Like that. The legs don't don't go that don't go the right way. Lawsuits and all that other crap. There we go. All right. So that'll go there. Oh, there you go. You can make them into a pterodactyl, or some or some type of bird. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. All right. So give me a second. Like I said, she got this yesterday, and I was just messing with it a little bit. Didn't mess with it too much. So now this goes back here, like this. And somehow, some way, somehow. Or I think it goes like that, and that'll go like that. Now the canopy does open up. Now somebody, I know somebody's gonna ask because I'm a gamer. Can I use this for 15 millimeter gaming? Because you guys know I do game. Well, look at the seat, the cockpit seats. Uh, this is just a uh, not Mad Max from Kurosan Minis. I should say so. I think yeah, this would be pretty close to true scale for a Transformer. All right, so let's see. So here's the head. Goes up like this. Head piece is supposed to go over here. I know I'm screwing up here somewhere. Oh, okay, yeah. His legs, the legs actually flip down this way. Turn this around.
Again, I haven't collected Transformers in a long time because uh, I'm not too fond of what Michael Bay did with the movie versions. Some of them I really like. Some of them I just thought, you know, what the hell. But it is what it is. And let me make sure I got everything snapped in here like it's supposed to be. Okay, that's supposed to go over there. And there you go. Now the lighting is supposed to go through this little pipette right here. To make the eyes glow. And that glow. And I'm not seeing that happen. I'm not even bothering showing it on camera. So yeah, that's what you're looking at. Let me lower this down a little bit. It's going to be hard for me to get them totally on camera. But yeah, I think you get the good sense. So yeah, that's what he looks like. Um, yeah, I, I can't see this being a $46 figure at all. Because if you turn them around... Got all that hollow right there. This just looks like a hot mess over here. I mean, it really does. But then all this stuff over here that's hollow on the wings. I mean, seriously. That's disappointing. No, and this is, like I said, this feels like really cheap plastic. Like, I don't remember anything really being this cheap before. And then the guns... Like I said, this is supposed to be his primary weapon. They stick in these holes. Look, and this is the outside of the arm. The outside of the arm is hollow. Versus the inside, a solid. Why can't this be over here and then just have the little hole right there? It, it makes no freaking sense to me whatsoever. So we're going to say Skywarp is, uh, It's right-handed. I mean, look, you know, try to put it in there. Things doesn't stay in there. Now, granted, yes, it is. I did get this at the, or rather, my wife got it at the thrift shop, so it's used. Yes, yes, I understand. But look at that. You can't even put the arm all the way up without this, without the weapon holding right there. It's just, Jesus Christ, really? It, it, it's just horrible. Can't really do too many dynamic poses with it. Because the feet don't move. That's that's how they move. The feet move like that. So I can't move it forward. There's no articulation there. And then this, you know, these open up. Even though they're supposed to lock into place at the groin. And that shit isn't happening either. There it goes. So yeah, I'm I'm rather disappointed in this, but for $6, I'm not I'm glad it was only $6 cuz I sure as hell would not want to pay $46 for this piece of shit. Cuz I mean, that, I'm being honest with you. That's that's what I'm feeling at this point. If I would have paid $46, I would have been really really pissed. Trying to get this piece to lock back into that hole. It just doesn't want to do it. Oh my god. So anyway. Yeah. If you're a fan of Transformers. And I'm a big fan of Transformers. I love Transformers. I am a G1 fanatic. I love G1. My first two Transformers was Skywalk, and my parents got me uh, Mirage. Those were my first two. The next one I got was an Optimus Prime, the original Optimus Prime, which was all die-cast. He wasn't plastic. Um, and it was actually a diaclone, because they found it in Chinatown in New York. Didn't have the Transformer logo on it, it was just diaclone, but it was Optimus Prime. See, and then these weapons, like, put them on here to cover up the, here you go. Co 
cover up the landing wheels. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what you think. And again, for my 15 millimeter guys, that's how tall he is. Pretty big. So Grimlock there. Grimlock's still pretty big, about true scale. I want to say it'd be about true scale. So yeah, that was that was the insane find. I'm I'm much happier about the ones I found for a dollar twenty-five a piece. So let's see, that's a dollar two fifty, three seventy-five, five, six dollars. Uh, it came out to uh, after tax it came out to like seven seventy something and change, something like that because I got these two. But yeah. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. If you agree or disagree. Like I said, I think this is not worth $46. Almost 50 bucks. if you want to round it up after tax and whatnot. I don't think this is worth worth $36 or $46. 20 maybe. If it's a $19.99, yeah, I, I can kind of see that in the pricing. But otherwise, no. Not at all. This is just... That, to me, is unacceptable. That's that's just horrible. And I know somebody's going to bound to say, oh, well, you, should, you know, get the Masterpiece version. I had the Masterpiece Prime, and it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, everything else, you know, they're great. I just can't justify the price for those. I, I really can't. Prime was just a special thing because it was the first one that came out. But that's about it. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a safe Veterans Day, don't get drunk, no drinking and driving, please. Take it easy.